sorry in the last video was a downer. I had forgotten about that email from my father and reading it two years after he passed really threw me for a loop, especially seeing the photos of his then new apartment. But I'm back on the wagon, keeping the faith that I can improve my thoughts and behaviors to live a life less burdened by stuff. Instead of looking ahead at all that still needs to be dealt with and getting overwhelmed, I'm trying to rein in my focus to the present and to acknowledge the progress I have made in changing my thoughts and behaviors. Something dawned on me the other day at the gym. As kids, my brother and I used to do handstands against the wall all the time. When I did yoga as an adult, I was still able to do them, but I stopped yoga and stopped doing handstands. A year and a half ago, while I was visiting my brother, I asked him to spot me to see if I could still do a handstand against the wall. Since it had been at least 12 or 13 years since I'd last tried, I was afraid I wasn't strong enough to support myself. He spotted me and surprisingly, I was able to hold myself up. Just briefly, not easily, my arms were quivering and I told my brother I felt so weak, to which he said, you can always improve. Once I knew my arms wouldn't crumble and I wouldn't face plant, I incorporated handstands against the wall into my routine at the gym. At first it took me several tries to even kick up against the wall and I could only hold myself up for a few seconds. Now I do three handstands against the wall for a minute each. Thinking back to when I was at my brother's, I realized how much stronger I've gotten by keeping at it and improving little by little. So I want to keep that in mind as I work to improve my thoughts and behaviors. Like my brother said, you can always improve.